Um, I've decided to make my first full-length video about tribes because I believe this is one of the most important concepts um, for living in the world in a conscious and um, fully embodied way and it's, uh, it's such an important concept for sensitive people and empaths um, and I want to just discuss the difference between your tribe, your support network, um, your family and friends, your partner, and the different roles that these groups of people perform in your life. Um, so I'll discuss those differences briefly um, because I want to focus specifically on your tribe and what that means. So, we're all very different as human beings, but no doubt you would have experienced in your life being drawn to some people um, far more than others. And I'm not just talking about friendships or even best friendships. Um, I'm not talking about romantic relationships either. I'm talking about people who seem to get you straight away and you seem to get them. Um, there's a feeling that you see the world the same way in some very fundamental aspects. Um, you have a lot in common. Um, but the main thing about people who are part of your tribe is um, that those relationships are extremely easy. I'm talking about when you're together. Um, relationships with people in your tribe can sometimes be disrupted by you know, circumstances or events which might separate you. Um, but when you're together, relating to them is extremely easy. It's extremely enjoyable, um, it nourishes you, um, you tend to long for those people um, when you're apart and um, so it's very important to recognize or to, um, to know and understand when you've met someone who is a member of your tribe. Now I, I use the term tribe loosely um, because I don't necessarily believe in the more esoteric belief that we come from particular soul groups and that we come from particular soul streams and that when we meet members of our tribe it's people from the same soul stream. I don't necessarily believe that. I don't think it needs to be as defined as that. Um, often it can just be that you and this person have a lot in common. Um, you might come from very similar cultures. Um, in fact, I think most often um, there is quite a lot of cultural similarity between you. Um, you think the same um, in many ways. Um, you just instinctively understand the way that uh, the other person thinks you understand their opinions and their feelings um, on about things and they understand yours. Um, you might have a lot of common interests. Um, it's very common for um, people who are from the same tribe to um, share some of the same hobbies, some of the same um, likes and dislikes, but these will generally be deeper than just the average um, liking the same type of music or the same colors or the same foods. It's not really, it's not as superficial as that. Um, it'll go deeper, it'll go um, more towards the way that you feel about the world, the way that you feel about the things that go on in the world, the way that you feel about other people, um, the way that you conduct relationships, um, your passions, um, the things you feel strongly about, those 
will tend to be the same. And it'll just make relating to that person extremely easy and effortless. Um, and you will feel that way pretty much from the first moment that you meet them. You will recognize a kindred spirit in this person. Um, hopefully what I've said up to now will give you an idea of what a person who is from your tribe will look and feel like and, and how you'll recognize them. Very likely if you're a very sensitive and empathic person, you have already met um, maybe one or two or even more people who you feel form part of your tribe. Um, so you'll know them already. Um, generally, a person doesn't have to point that, you know, that person out to you. Um, you won't need to be told that someone is a member of your tribe. You'll just know it. You will know it by the, the degree of comfort that you feel around them. You will know it by how much you enjoy spending time with them. You'll know it by how deeply you relate to them. You'll know it by the fact that that person will stay with you in, in your heart and um, will stay on your mind for years afterwards. So the rest of your life, really, you'll remember that person and you'll remember how wonderful it was to spend time with them. Generally, there won't be a lot of people like that that you'll meet in your life. You might be lucky and meet one every few years. Um, and those people really are to be treasured. Um, they're very special. Don't discount the connection that you have with them because it doesn't come along every day. Um, even if you're a person who has a lot of friends um, and you have other close people in your life, very likely your relationship with a person who feels as if they're part of your tribe, who feels like home to you really, that's, that's a special connection. Um, and I believe it deserves to be treated as such and to have a special place in your heart. Um, and that's where you can distinguish people who are members of your tribe from ordinary friends or members of your support network. Generally, um, the average person will have um, people, hopefully will have a support network of people in their lives, people they see regularly, people they can count on, um, people that they tell their news to, um, and that's your support network um, that will be made up of friends and family, um, and these will be people who care about you, who love you, um, but quite often they don't necessarily understand you. And this is what distinguishes uh, people who are just part of your ordinary support network from people who are members of your tribe. Um, you will often long for the feeling of mutual understanding and comfort that you have with members of your tribe. And that's very normal, that's very natural, and that the reason that that longing is there is because people that you interact with most often and um, spend most of your time with um, are different from you. They are more different from you than people who are members of your tribe. And so when you talk or when you explain yourself or when you just interact, likely there's a little bit of, you know, there might be a little bit of friction, there might be a little bit of misunderstanding, a little bit of jarring, which is very normal in human interactions. Um, we don't understand people who are different from us all that well. And um, as I say, people who will understand you a lot more are going to be rather rare and few and far between. So you'll find the majority of your interactions are going to be made up of relationships with people who are quite different from you, um, maybe in small ways, maybe in fundamental ways. And you just need to recognize 
that that level of comfort and understanding is not going to be there with everyone. Um, the feeling of interacting in that deep and comfortable way is going to be reserved for members of your tribe. And it's just important to know that most people likely are not going to make you know, sense to you all the time and you won't make sense to them all the time, and, and that's okay. Um, as I say, we all have to interact with people in the world, and most of those people will not be like us. And it's very important that we learn to tolerate and accept differences um, between us um, without judging that person, without trying to change them, without trying to advise them even. Because people are different, and they have different ways of thinking, different ways of feeling, um, different wants and needs and goals. And so it, it is important to know that most of the people that you interact with will be slightly different from you, and you need to get comfortable in being who you are. Um, and comfortable in your own skin and comfortable in asserting yourself as a person who is unique um, and try not to, um, on the one hand, judge other people for being different from you and on the other hand, don't compromise yourself too much because you are different. Don't let yourself be swayed or persuaded or... Um, made to feel badly about being the way that you are. It's perfectly um, good. It's perfectly wonderful. Um, you have your own unique way of being in the world and your own unique way of expressing yourself. And um, it's a wonderful thing to be different from other people. And it's a particularly important and wonderful skill if you can master it, to be able to be comfortable in who you are without trying to change yourself or others. Just being in a, a state of acceptance of us as different people. And that feeling of affinity, that feeling of um, being understood and of being on the same wavelength, that feeling of deep rapport is probably going to be limited to people who are part of your tribe. And it's important to seek those people out. Because when you spend too much time around people who are very different from you, you can start to feel a little bit like an alien. You can start to feel as if there is something wrong with you. You can start to feel a little bit uncomfortable about who you are. Um, you know, we're all prone to those sorts of feelings from time to time. And it is very important to remind yourself that it is okay to be the way that you are and to seek out people who are a lot more like you and people who get you and understand you because that will keep you grounded, it'll keep you nourished, it'll, it'll help you to feel calm and happy in who you are and it'll remind you that you're not alone. So understand that most of your interactions with people are going to be with people who are different from you. That's okay. You're allowed to be who you are. And they're allowed to be who they, they are. And you don't have to feel like you need to change yourself or mold yourself to fit in with them. Um, and you likewise should be able to accept them without judging them or trying to change them either. Just embrace and enjoy and revel in the differences between us. But at the same time, it is important. It's, you know, we all need that emotional lifeblood of being around our own tribe, being around people who who get us, who understand us, people who um, are going to look at you with that look in their eyes, that knowing look in their eyes, knowing what you mean, and um, where you don't feel like you're different from them. You feel as if you've come home. That's very important as well, because it'll sustain you, it'll bolster you in... Um, in making your way through the world. And it's important to seek out members of your tribe and to hold on to them. Don't let them go easily. Um, and 
parents, nurture and nourish your relationships with members of your tribe, if you can, and um, appreciate them. So I hope that this has been enlightening for you, and um, I will see you in my next video.